Thanks for joining us. Now, before the break, we saw this expression right here, and we were told to simplify this. And it's really just an exercise in distributing. You didn't see that. I, yeah, I didn't see you use a calculator. No. Oh, didn't. my word. <laughs> so let's distribute before I absolutely lose my mind. <laughs> Did anybody get 10x? Yep. Minus 15. All right, then what did you get? Because keep in mind, you are trying to take this negative 8 and distribute to these three terms. So you have to watch your signs. What do you have? Mm, minus 32y. Minus 32y. Plus 56x. Plus 56x. Plus 24. Plus 24. When I distribute, the parentheses aren't there anymore because I distributed. I did the indicated operation, so I don't need that there anymore. And then it's just a matter of combining like terms, right? Now what you may want to do is put a little check mark or underline uh, after you use each term. Now I don't know about you, but I kind of like to put the x terms first. So I have positive 10x, positive 56x. Do you all agree? So that gives me a positive 66x. Now this is my only y term, right? right? So he goes next. Oh, that's where I went from. Minus 32y. And then at the end I've got my constant term. Always put the constant at the end, because that's how mathematicians like things. I have a plus fit net. I mean, I've got a negative 15 right here. And what else do I have? Plus 24. So you have to be able to see what the terms are. Like this is a positive 10x, and you go to a negative 15, a negative 32y, positive 56x, and a positive 24. So you have to be able to see the sign of each of those terms. So when you combine these, you know what's going on. A negative 15 and a positive 24 is what? Positive it's positive 9. What do you guys think? I hope that as we go through these problems, you recognize any sort of deficiency that you're bringing into this classroom. For some of you, it may be issues with signs. For others, it's going to be issues with your multiplication tables. So you're going to have to figure out, well, what do I need to do to practice this stuff and to get better at it? Is it flashcards? Is it just doing problems in interactmath.com? You need to figure that out. All right, uh, let's try this one. If I do 10 minus 3 times 2x plus 7y plus 4 times 5y minus 6. The order of operations that you were taught never go away. You do what's inside parentheses if you can. There's nothing I can do. You move on to exponents. I have none. You go on to multiplication and division from left to right. And the reason I say this is because a lot of students will look at this and say, oh, I've got 10 minus 3. Yes and no. If you have just this, yeah, that's 10 minus 3. But you need to understand that the 3 is connected through multiplication to the 2x plus 7. Do you all agree? Mm -hmm. You need to understand that multiplication is this mathematical glue that's going to keep things stuck together. Addition and subtraction are the separators for the different pieces. So I had 10. Then I have this guy right here, this negative 3 times that group 2x plus 7y. Then here's an addition, so it's another break, another separation. And then I have this. I have 4 times 5y minus 6. Do you see the different groups here, the different things that are stuck together? So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply out what we can using the distributive property and then combine like terms. So what does this equal? Total. Well, that's just 10 right now. Oh, oh I said that. 10 the minus 6x. Let's, let's just piece by piece right now. So we have minus 6x. Minus 21. Minus 
minus 21y, right? And then I need to distribute this plus 4, so what do I get? Plus 20y minus 24. Do you all agree? Mm -hmm. yeah. These are like terms. Combine what we can. What well, gets to combine here? The 10 minus 24. 10 minus 24, that's going to be at the end because it's constantly, so that's the way I want to do it. The y. We can combine the y's. So, how much y do we have? Do I need to write the 1 in front of the y, or can I just write negative y? Just negative y. I could do the x first. Um, you guys said y, isn't that? You know, it's really all your fault. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting here trying to make a video, and you're screwing it up. Because I, I started with negative 6x because that was a... <laughs> <laughs> I like the examples that you guys show through videos on YouTube of why you shouldn't become a teacher. <laughs> so let's not start with negative y anymore. <laughs> it's like, oh, that didn't, that didn't exist. So let's start with the x. Negative 6x, are we happier now? Yes. How much y? I marked it off, I don't know now. Just shows you be proud. <laughs> yeah, I guess I need to tag her in this video then. Uh, negative 6x minus y, and then <coughs> what's the constant piece? Negative 14. Or minus 14. Minus 14. I guess you can see why I was being so negative with everything, right? Touche. See? These guys are all <laughs> negative. Huh? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> 